Assalamu alaikum guys in this video we'll talk about properties of model class in Laravel let's start the first one here is the connection property it will be like that protected and connection variable and it's used for changing the connection of a specific model for example and for some reasons this post model will use the postgres for doing its operations and this connection value must be one value of this database connections inside our configuration folder for database file here and it must be one of these keys under connections array maybe sqlite maybe neo4j maybe mysql and postgres and so on right and by default laravel uses the default value here inside the database.php file the next one here is table maybe most of, of us know about it and the table are used for setting the table name of laravel instead of making laravel detect it or maybe the name is different from the standard laravel name so for example here i will change it from postis to post for example and now it post and if i do some queries using a thinker here for example post and the count or post i will receive this error because post is not exist this one here and to set it manually we can say here protected table and we can say post now try again and it will work right how does this table is detected if we go to this model class here and under method called get table this one if it's not defined this table name or this table property it will be automatically detect it from the class name let's try this one here and i will take it copy and inside tinker i will set it here and instead of this parameter i will say post like class name and auto automatically it's detected, detected as post right let's set it again to posts and it will be posts here and i will remove it also right the next one is related to primary keys what if we want to change our primary key from id right as you can see here to for example post id and i will remigrate it and now if i go here refresh and our columns post id is the primary key and if i try here to say bhp artisan tinker and post find one it throws an error because post doesn't exist let's remove it from our model right now try again and i will say post find number one and if you notice the unknown column post is dot id because the default primary key is defined as id so if we want to override this value we can say here primary key and i can say post id now let's try again pitch partisan tinker and post find id it's null because our post is table is null another attribute here if we want to change this id from auto increment or from integer to be auto generated like uuid like that here uuid and i will keep it post id and now if i remigrate it migrate fresh again and if i try to create a new post using artisan tinker inside factory post factory now create and i will receive this error the field post id doesn't have the default value if you are back here to our model it doesn't have default value but we must also call the has uid trait it will be automatically generated now let's try to fill it again and it works correctly let's try to find the post by one here it's null and also if you want to change the type of this primary key we can say again here k type instead of integer it will be string set it again create another post works correctly let's find it by this post id uid here and it works perfectly right the next one here to disable the auto incrementing of primary key in the case of string maybe it will be automatically filled in another algorithm or maybe you want to fill it manually we can say here variable protected incrementing equal to false 
right? Also, it will have no effect in the current case. The next one here is with variable. We may talked about it earlier, but we can say here protected to load automatically the relationships with and load automatically user. And if I disable it and get the first post again, it will include the user of this post, right? Without using load or with method. If you want to also loading the count of a relationship, we can say with count like that. Now try again. And as you can see, user count equal to one because it belongs to only one user. The next one here is timestamps, which is Boolean for setting if the current table contains created at and updated at columns or not to avoid some errors. For example, here I will remove this columns timestamps and I will remake it again. And now if I try to create post without timestamps, I will receive this error post factory create. And as you can see here, updated at not exists, right? So we can set it to false here, protected timestamps this one and it will equal to false now try again and it's created timestamp must be public this one here public try again now and it works correctly right also if we want to override the name of created at and update at we can do it easily by using here timestamp maybe created date and the same thing for updated date right instead of created at or updated at I will add them here in my database created date and it's timestamps like that and also the same thing for updated at it will be updated date right it's saved now if I try to create a new post but firstly I must set it to true or even removing it now here if I try to create a new post I will face this error because the timestamps columns are changed so we can set them using conist and create it at here the new name is created date and also for the updated at column it's updated date now let's try to create a new post let's check it again updated date this one test again and it works correctly now updated at and created at right last variable here or last probability is attributes so sometimes what if we want to create a new post but firstly I need to change something inside post factory here it will not has default value this famous error like that I will try to create a new one as you can see here post title or column title doesn't have default value so we can set a default value for a column using attributes here so protected attributes and we can say here for example title will be new post by user right it's useful especially for booleans and enum values so we can say here try and as you can see without creating a title inside factory it's created automatically here new post by user right here is some quick tips about model probabilities in Laravel. If you found it useful, support me by clicking on like, share and subscribe. See you in next videos.